Glipicide is a second generation sulfonuria. The principal mechanism of action of sulfonurias is at the beta cell of the pancreas to stimulate insulin release. Therefore, these drugs are known as secretagogues. Before we look at glipicides, let's first refresh our knowledge of insulin release. All right, so after a meal, our blood glucose levels increase, which needs insulin from the beta cell to decrease this glucose to restore homeostasis. But how does this happen? At the beta cell level, glucose will enter through a transporter that we call a glucose transporter or a GLUT2 transporter. Here, the glucose enters the cell and is metabolized at the mitochondria to ATP. As ATP levels start to increase, they interact at a particular potassium channel or a potassium ATP channel, which causes it to close. This then increases the potassium levels inside the cell, which causes it to become more positive. This is depolarization, which then opens a voltage-gated calcium channel. Calcium will enter the cell, which causes the release of a vesicle that holds insulin. The insulin is then released out into the blood, which subsequently will decrease the glucose levels. Now, in diabetes, when the glucose levels increase, this is known as hypoglycemia, glipicide, which is used as a medication, will bind to a receptor or a SUR receptor on the side of the potassium ATPA channel, which causes it to close, then leading to depolarization, causing the voltage-gated calcium channel to open. This leads to exocytosis of the vesicle. Insulin is released, which subsequently will decrease glucose. Thus, glipicides is an important drug for diabetes and ultimately to reduce hyperglycemia.